Known for her iconic ski goggles, perfectly red lipstick, and crazy skills on the walk, Jie Fai is one of the most respected culinary legends of Thai street food in Bangkok. She still cooks everything over charcoal, and you will be blown away by her care, expertise, and her borderline ridiculous portions of seafood. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and for lunch today, Ying and I. Hello, Ying. Hello. We are on our way to go eat at a restaurant or a street food stall, a local restaurant. It's called J Fai. Many people love it. Many people say it's overrated, and many people say it's way too expensive. Uh, but this is going to be my very first time to eat there. I've never been there, so we have some time today. And actually, let's just go see how the food is for ourselves. Quick word of warning for you, uh, never drive around these parts. Okay, the, the drive was fine, but parking, oh, is just horrible. Uh, but you should definitely catch a taxi here or walk here. Anyways, we got a little walk and we are, hello, we are almost here. Uh, I'm very hungry now and very excited. We ordered some of her signature dishes. And they're known because she cooks over charcoal, over a, a, just a, a raging hot charcoal fire. And she's also known she, because she always rocks her iconic ski goggles as she cooks. ไม่อุ้มน้ำมันใช่มั้ยครับอุ้มน้ำมันอ๋อโอเคครับให้ให้เนื้อปูมันแน่นแล้วมันจะไม่อุ้มน้ำมันอ๋อครับผมอร่อ
ไมค์เปิดสมัยพ่อแม่แล้วแล้วตอนที่โดนไฟไหม้ชิดไฟมาดิตอนนั้นเป็นโดนไฟไหม้สิบสิบสิบปีเย็บไปเป็นคนหัวดูไม่ได้จมตัวเองแม่ต้องขายแก้
Yeah, there's no way you want to take that in one bite. Well, you could. It's not overdone. It's muscular. It's juicy. The flavor of all that sauce is just uh, caramelized around the edges. That's just like a muscle in your mouth. Oh, and now moving on to the Tom Yum Gung, which is our final, our third dish. I think I'm actually just gonna move seats over here. The dishes are so big. Up at the front of the restaurant, you'll see that she has a whole pot of bubbling pork stock. And that's what she made the soup with. Um, we, she asked me if I wanted it spicy, and of course I wanted it spicy, so she added in a bunch of uh, crushed chilies. Then she added in the lemongrass, the kaffir lime leaves, and then literal, okay, those same jumbo, absurdly huge tiger prawns also went in um, and then some mushrooms in here a bunch of basil and yeah and then and then, and then her final step was that she added in some numpik pao which is a uh, roasted chili jam so first we got to just taste that broth oh oh Whew. that is so sour that if you're not expecting that it will make your eyes bulge that flavor is just awesome though you can taste the the depth of that pork stock, but at the same time you get a you get the subtle clues of the lemongrass, the basil in there, the kaffir lime leaves, uh, the galangal in there comes in really nicely as well. That's a broth of wonders. There is literally no other way to eat these prawns than to just pick it up with your hands by the tail. They're too big for spoon or fork or chopsticks. They're a job only the hands can do. Something you immediately admire about her is that she doesn't overcook any of the seafood. Oh, that broth is just mesmerizing and it will really make you sweat too. Ooh, the flavor though, that's flavor overload. But I think the dish with the most wow factor is the crab omelet. This burrito beauty, so I'm moving back over here. Just look at those nuggets and just wrapped up in that egg. Literally, the egg is just a, it's just an excuse for the crab. Go in for some of the picnic blah, dress it. Oh yes. This is definitely the best plate of hot kimao I've ever had. An outstanding meal, but the sweat is just dripping right now. And just gonna pay the bill real fast. She is a legend. And our total bill came to 2,390 baht. Uh, so, it's not cheap by any standard of the imagination, but you will eat your fill of gargantuan shrimp and shellless crab here. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's all about expectations. So if you are expecting it to be street food prices and quality, uh, then j Fi is simply not that. She uses premium ingredients uh, and uh, yeah, although yeah, it definitely is very expensive, but you not only pay for the food itself, which is pretty mind-blowing and impressive, but you also, she is a legend. Uh, we were talking with her and that restaurant has been there for 60 years. She's now 71. Her mom started the restaurant and so she has been there since she was 11 years old, helping her mom, cooking, learning how to cook, and so she is beyond expert. She is a, a Bangkok culinary hero. And so my final conclusion is that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, not, again, not only the food, but also talking to her and enjoying her company and her cook and just watching, having the privilege to watch her cook. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more food and travel videos. See you on the next video.